Hello and welcome to today's walk. Today, I am in Aguadusa, California, and there's a little bit of a hint right here where I'm at. So join me today so I can show you exactly where I'm at on today's walk. Let's go. So like I said, this is a little hint as to where I'm at. And uh, I'm gonna show you, this is a, like a little miniature version of where I'm gonna show you, but let's continue over here. This is the welcome center. And we're gonna go inside, take a look. So I am inside the Vasquez Rocks Interpretive Center. Let's go on in. So this is where I'm going to be going. And this is the Vasquez Rocks. And this is their little, basically little museum. But these are all the different, you've, you've seen this in several movies. You've seen this coming if you're ever traveling on the 14 freeway. But these are all the different movies. I actually came down here when they were filming this years ago. And of course, the most famous is Star Trek was filmed out here. Oh wow, Blazing Saddles. I've been talking about that on my, on my Knots videos with uh, Sad Eye Joe. But yeah, they filmed that here. Several, several Westerns, The Lone Ranger, But definitely you've seen it in the movies. You've seen it on TV shows. So in here they have actual rattlesnakes that they have. Got a tarantula in there. Yikes. Gopher snake, see him. This guy might be sleeping or maybe he's in there. But yeah, this is the, the actual rock we're gonna head on over to in a bit. So here they have a miniature layout of the, the mountains and the Vasquez Aguadus area. And right here, this, this right here Along here is the 14 freeway. And the rock where we're going to is over there. We're, we're, we're right about where those red balls are at. That's where we are standing right now. But we're gonna head on over to the uh, actual Vasquez rocks. And a quick note as to why these are called the Vasquez rocks. So this guy, he was a bandit, and his last and his name was Tiburcio Tiburcio Vasquez back in 1874, and he used these mountains as a hideout. So that's the name, Vasquez Rocks. All right, let's let's enough talk and uh, we'll head on out to the rocks. Here's a quick note before we leave. The center is open um, Tuesday through Sundays, closed on Mondays. And I think they, they open at 7 a.m. All right, we're gonna, we're actually gonna walk over there. We're not gonna, we are not going to uh, drive because you can drive over there and park right near the mountain. But we're actually going to, going to head on and walk the trails out here. Now, I won't bore you with all of it, but I'll show you some highlights as we head on that way. All right, so this is new to me, but in that center we were at, they had those, those red markers that give you some um, actual points of interest. And as you could see here, 
This one is called the witch's hat. Do you see it? The witch's hat. There it is. That's pretty awesome. And even, even as we're here standing, I mean, you got people filming. You have uh, all the stuff around you. You have hiking trails, different ones. I hope I don't get lost, but I, I, I pretty much uh, know my way around. All right, so I found the main road. I don't have to go all through there, but you can see horses over there. You can see people just hiking. And it looks like they were filming a, a music video. The girl had an awesome voice. And uh, lots going on over here. All right, we're headed that way. So let's continue. So as we continue on this road, there's the rock right there. But the actual, actual side, we're going to go is to the other side of it. And, uh, but we're getting close to it. So those horses we saw earlier, you can see them climbing that hill there. Kind of hear them also, but let me zoom in a little more if I can. Yeah, there they go. There's so many trails out here. But yeah, there they go up the hill. So here it is. This is the actual Vasquez rock and like I said we're gonna go to the other side but this is when you're walking up to it I got off the main road so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around now I have actually never climbed on the rock but I think today's the day we're gonna give it a try but first I want to go all the way around it show you guys the whole area around it so here's an even closer shot and there was somebody climbing on this end right here now like I said I've never climbed it I'm not sure how to how to even start but I want to show you all the way around the, the actual rock so let's head on over back to the main road and we'll get to the other side of this this uh, rock. I mean, here's one end of the. This is where the point is on on the on the, when you're on the either side of it. But you could see all the different weird rock formations, like this rock right here that's just leaning like this alongside it. So. You know, did the wind form these rocks? I kind of think so. Because it is a little windy. And I'm sure for all the years and years that these uh, mountains got formed. They all have that slanted look to them. Or is it an actual space rock? It's like, I don't know. They call it the space rock also. And big part is due to the movies that have been filmed here. Now, the first, first show or even time that I remember seeing this rock was with uh, Star Trek, Captain Kirk. And... Uh, he ended up on this planet here and it was inhabited by some lizard man. I forgot his name right now, but he ends up in a big fight. Big, big famous scene at the edge of this rock. And you can see it in the background as they're battling. And then, you know, Captain Kirk throws a big rock at him. And of course it does nothing, but it's kind of hilarious if you see it now but yeah and then when I first came out here they were filming um, the Flintstones and this was the actual this parking where where the parking is 
is the actual village um town of bedrock so they had they had the homes right here all through there and they were right here at the edge of this rock and you could see it in the movie you could see as they they pan out in the evening and you can see the mountain and you can see the rock but yeah and then another thing they filmed out here now it's more recent of course because you, you also see it in the westerns those old tv show westerns but one of the more recent is the power rangers power rangers are out here battling uh with their with their zords and stuff but yeah this is uh something i'm, I'm sure you've seen somewhere on tv or movies but yeah here here's a better shot of the uh of the mountain and like i said i, I mean there's got to be reason you know the rain the wind forming these rocks all you can see how they point out so if you look way out there let me zoom in right there that's the 14 freeway and on the map that's why i said it looks so far away but i guess it is kind of far but when you're on the freeway you could see it man it just looks so big and, and close to you but you can see it's pretty it's pretty packed here with people out here enjoying the uh the rock climbing and the and the trails but yeah this is this is pretty much where captain kirk and i think it's gorn had their battle and it's pretty funny I'm, I, I'm actually gonna look it up today and watch it but it's pretty funny yeah i mean it's awesome this it, it, you know they do call it the space rock like i said what formed it how did it get formed and like i said all the rocks have that slanted look to them throughout the park but this is the main Vasquez rocks. And I'll, and I'll go on the other side of it to show you. And you can see all the different rocks. And that's how Mr. The Bandit Vasquez uh, was able to evade the law and hide in these, in these mountains. Yeah, see how... You see the, the different rocks on the on the other side. So we'll, we'll head on that way, and then you can we can try and see how we can maybe get up there. But you can see several people up there. So here we are on the other side of it, and as you can view rock and you can see that's on the other side is where people were climbing up so like I said this is whole area full of rocks now I did a race probably three years ago I know this was towards the end of the race running that way but you could see all around you is all this rock There's another pointy, smaller version of this, but you could see everywhere, boom, boom, the, the, the slanted rocks with the points. And um, I mean, it makes an awesome spot. It makes you feel like you're in a Western, definitely, when you're out here. It is free to get in. Uh, it is a county park. Um, you just come out here, you, you pick a trail and kind of, to get to the rock, I would I would just take the main driving road, or you could even drive down to where the other cars were parked. Because if it's your first time out here, you don't want to be taking trails and end up getting lost. But the trails actually take you underneath the freeway, and you end up on the other side to additional trails on that other mountain over there. 
because I know the when we did the race, that's a, we went out that way. But it's so beautiful out here, nice. The weather's perfect, it's nice and cool. Slight, slight breeze. All right, let's let's see if I can uh, actually take a little climb up there. I might not go all the way up, but I got the camera, so let's uh, let's let's see how far we can get. All right, so we're gonna try to get it at least to this first little ridge. I'm not going. See those people way up there? No, I'm not doing that today. Walk, 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 chicken, yeah. But I'm gonna at least try to get to this little area. And then take a, a shot from there, see how it looks. And uh, I'll go ahead and start now. So here we go. So it's one thing to climb, but it's a whole other ball game coming down. Cause you don't wanna come down quick. So, all right, let's continue. All right, it made it to the point. Okay, I don't know if these guys are circling because they think I'm gonna fall and uh, I'm lunch. But I made it to the point I wanted to. It's not too far up, Le much more left to get to the top. But it's not that it's hard to get up, it's the down. The down is the, uh, the trick. But this is where I'm at. Gotta love it, gotta love it. The Space Rock, Vasquez Rocks, out here in Agua Dulce. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. It is a bit of a climb down, so hopefully I make it. You'll see if I post this video, I made it. But um, thank you for joining me today. This is the Vasquez Rocks out in Agua Dulce awesome place to to explore and see the uh just the rock formations and the and how how awesome nature is out here so thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time on today's walk if i make it down this hill bye Scotty, beam me up now.